Thank you for purchasing the RoboCut Family Vacuum Hair Cutting System. In your package is all you will need to cut your own or anyone else's hair cleanly and simply the first time. This video includes sections on getting started, setting cut length, and popular styles which include the even style, the tapered style, and the layered style, and options which include shaping the hairline, trimming hair ends, and pet grooming. To get started, read first and understand the cautions in the hair cutting guide. Then go through the following preparations. Lubricate the blades. Do that before each use and whenever they begin to sound as if slowing down. First remove the oil from your package and puncture the tip using a pin. Place one drop of oil on each of the four movable arms of the blade and at the head of the shaft. Then run the RoboCut for one full second without the vacuum on. Now your unit is ready to cut. Connect the hair cutter to your vacuum. In most cases, the end of your vacuum hose will fit inside the end of the RoboCut hose. If you do not have such a fit, use the hose adapter. If both ends are of the same diameter, use the adapter like this. If the ends do not match, as in this case, you may try reversing the adapter. Now start your vacuum. To change the blades, first unplug the hair cutter from the power outlet. Then pull out the flexible ring that holds the blades. Pay attention to where the four metal tabs of the blade fit into the plastic grooves. You will have to put the new blade in the same position. Grip the shaft head with the pliers and pull the blade straight out. Insert the new blade assembly. First match the shaft into the collet at the bottom. Then turn the blade until the tabs settle into the four notches. Replace the ring that holds the blade secure under the four plastic protrusions. A transparent telescoping dial sets any hair length between a quarter inch and two inches. For length over two inches, attach an extender by pressing it over the dial. One extender doubles the range. You can cut up to four inches. Each additional extender increases the range by two inches. An easy way to set the length is to stretch the hair next to the cutter while the tip touches the scalp. Set the dial so that only the length that needs to be cut stretches beyond the blades. To use the flat adapter, press it directly over the telescoping dial or range extender. The flat adapter is useful for short lengths. It should always be used when cutting over loose skin, such as trimming beards and grooming pets with loose skin. To use the angle adapter, press it on the tip of the telescoping dial as shown here, or to the tip of the extender. For layering the side, I set the dial three quarters of an inch shorter and attach the angle adapter. Then I pass it along the hairline with the longer side up. And that's all it takes for a perfect haircut. The angle adapter is used for styling tapered and layered haircuts. For example, the tapering on the sides and in the back of the tapered style. When switching to the angle adapter, set the length so the longest side of the angle adapter matches the length of the flat adapter. If the top is an inch and a half, then set the dial so that when touching the scalp with the long side of the angle adapter, the hair reaches the blades. The even style has the same length on the entire head surface. Typically, it gives you a layered look. Move the cutter over the hair, following patterns that start at the forehead and end at the neckline. The tip of the hair cutter should always touch the head surface and be held perpendicular to it. Then, move the cutter from one side to the other by going first front to back, then side to side. A checkerboard pattern is created. This technique can be used with any of the hairstyles to create a perfectly even texture. The tapered style is also very popular. In this example, the hair has grown much too long at over five inches 
The desired haircut has two and a half inches on the top of the head and it tapers on the sides and in the back down to half an inch. This haircut is done by separating the head into four zones as shown in the haircutting guide. The first zone, which is the top of the head, is done at a setting of two and a half inches. The cutter is moved from front to back in little back and forth movements. Then the cutter is moved from side to side. Next, zone two is cut. This zone starts at the top of the forehead and continues all the way around the back at an even distance from the hairline. The setting is one and a half inches. For zone three, the setting is one inch to which the angle adapter adds a quarter inch. This zone starts at the middle of the forehead and continues around the head at an even distance from the hairline. The hair in zone four is half an inch long. It goes around the head right at the hairline. If you are tapering from very long to very short, you may wish to use more zones with smaller dial changes between zones. The layered style often is short on top and long at the hairline. In this example, the bangs are two inches, the top is three inches, and the layers get longer toward the hairline. First, the top layer is done back and forth, and later side to side. You can even do it on your own head. The second layer, in zone two, has a length setting of four inches. On long hair like this, up and down movements are helpful. The third layer is almost six inches long. For a feathered style, always move the hair cutter in a feathering direction. The fourth layer is eight inches long. Finally, shape the hairline without cutting any significant length. To highlight your hairstyle, you may want to shape the hairline, including the bangs, the hairline at the back, and the sideburns. To texturize the bangs, comb them, remove all the extenders, and remove the dial. Now hold the hair cutter flush with the forehead surface and move it laterally along the hair ends. Move the hair cutter along a line where most of the hair ends line up. To texturize the sideburns, hold RoboCut parallel to the head surface while moving it along the hair ends. If you wish, you can even out the hairline around the head or trim it according to your design. For longer hair, you may wish to trim the hair ends as follows. To trim the hair ends on long hair with a blunt cut, Add extenders and move the dial until the setting measures at least a quarter inch shorter than the hair already is when measured from the hairline on the neck. Holding the hair cutter flush with the surface of the back, engage the hair one section at a time while touching the tip of the extender to the hairline at the back of the neck. A good finishing touch is to put an undercut on the hair ends. Keep the chin pressed to the chest to expose the underlayer of hair. 
comb through the hair thoroughly, making sure that the strands next to the neck are stretched also. Hold the hair cutter with the dial removed flush against the back. Move it laterally along a line where most of the hair ends line up. Remember to keep the hair well combed. This evens out and texturizes hair ends. Pet grooming with RoboCut is easy, fun, and leaves no mess. Familiarize the pet with the hair cutter and the vacuum as described in the guide. Most pets accept the vacuum noise and the hair cutting sound. Many require a leash about one foot above the head in order to stay. Some who are frightened of hair cutting noise can be desensitized as follows. Leave the pet in the room while vacuuming. This way the pet adjusts to the noise and learns that it's okay to be around when the vacuum is running. Also try giving the pet a treat when the vacuum is running. Rub or scratch the pet with the hair cutter while both the hair cutter and the vacuum are turned off. Pet hair varies greatly in texture and thickness. Here are two examples. This Bernese Mountain Dog's hair is long and straight. When cutting this type of hair, up and down movement is helpful. The poodle's hair is thick and is tightly curled. To cut a poodle's hair, fluff up the curls by combing from the skin out. You will find that RoboCut stretches the curls and cuts them more evenly than when using shears. Use RoboCut at a length of a half inch or more. This way you avoid the harsh shaved look. For even length along the legs, use the flat adapter and move up and down the leg with the adapter ribs oriented lengthwise. When done, comb the hair. The result should be a smooth surface, soft texture, and a happy pet. Now you should be ready to start saving time and money with your RoboCut. Should you need additional help, feel free to call customer service at 303-495-0427. Or if you need to order any RoboCut accessories, such as extenders, adapters, lubricating oil, or replacement blades, call our order taking department at 800-825-0139. From all of us at RoboCut, thank you.